should be the here we are hi there everybody hello hello it's tv time it's tv time on our little program that we do once a week and when people call uh using um using our uh, 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 uh what do you call it? our little uh, uh using skype uh you'll be able you'll be able to actually uh see them um let me see here. Hold on a second. Where am I? Damn it. There we go. I'm, ha I'm having to fix something here. There, and I just fixed it. There we go. Okay, it's fixed. Uh, but I, I better to put it over here. All right. There we go. Okay. Anyway, we're ready for people to call if they want to call us. And uh, now you just call us calling using live stream. And yes, our phone number, uh, our, it's uh, GabNet Live on, uh, on Skype. And if you want to phone us, uh, it's 347-352-0079. Okay, and then I'm just going to sit here and wait until I see that people start calling. And I have nothing to talk about now. I, uh, but I, I should uh, tell people that uh, if you just tuned in and you're just watching the uh, the live stream version of this, um, you uh, are uh, j seeing a thing called GabNet, and GabNet uh, is a the home of the citizen panels. And what we do is we get more than one person on at a time, and uh, hopefully they all get on at the same time, and we all start talking a lot. But meanwhile, I sit here like an asshole, waiting for somebody to call. That's why I, I hate doing the TV thing. Because for the, at least the first 10 minutes of every show, I look like a fucking idiot. Because I'm simply trying to pass the time away until somebody gives me a call. So, and I saw the Phil Meyer signed on where, where at least I should have Phil. You know. But anyway, our, uh, our, uh, we're at Skype, at GabNet Live, and we're on the phone at... Hold on a second. I got to go find it again. Three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Z Z seven nine. Okay. So where is is anybody going to call tonight, or is this going to? See, I always have this this nightmare that what's going to happen one night is that nobody's going to call, and uh, I'm just going to be sitting here. Uh, doing the shortest program I've ever done. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm sitting here waiting. And yet people, people don't tune in. So I, I'm t I, I got to do something about the first half hour of this show. Uh, and the reason I'm saying I got to do something about the first half hour of this show is that um, the show is... Um, uh, I talk for a half hour, so people don't listen because they don't want to hear me talk for a half hour. So maybe I'll stop doing my little talks for a half hour. You know, last week I had a guy phone me up and get all bitchy at me because I had had an interview with somebody on for a half hour, and now that person isn't even calling tonight, and I talked for a half hour, God damn it, didn't I, Phil? Yeah, and you hung up on a potential uh, gal that uh, was going to call you. Yeah, yeah right. And, and then you blocked her to boot. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm why, of course. I'm kick her when she was down. Well, enough to kick her when she was down. You know. Yeah, you it, said nobody was going to call, so here I am, nobody, I'm calling. Yeah, you're nobody. <laughs> I, uh, Scott isn't online. Really? Yeah, so we may not even have Scott tonight. It may just be you and me. Oh, oh God, oh. folks! Please help me out, please. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me. Uh, have I have I got? Uh, I've got to put you up on the screen here so people can see you. There you are. God forbid, Daisy. Huh? Yeah, well, God forbid they can no, see me. No, I start to forget that the, the the camera's on me and that I didn't go to the shot. See, and and there's there's Phil. He's f taking up the whole screen. That's not the way it's supposed to be. How come I see you taking the whole screen and me just in the corner? Well, because it, it, I'm talking about with uh, with uh, oh with, with the, the live stream. stream. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, this is just a Skype. See, this well, is just a Skype. you know, uh, you started going into a story that I had heard before, and I needed to make an appointment to get an eye exam, and uh, called up Kaiser, said I need one fast. Boom, tomorrow, three forty. You know, in the afternoon. Yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, that that was why I left the uh, the monologue. Uh, oh, well, my, mine usually takes a couple of, um, get to my doctor, my eye doctor, takes a couple of weeks, but he's the best eye doctor in New York City. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, how good or bad can they be? They, you know, look at the eye, mm -hmm. they see if they got any cholesterol in there and, you know. Oh, yeah. I had, and then, I had he, a guy and then that, he does something else. He, like, puts drops in my eyes and, dilates. You know, uh, and, and scoops out a lens and puts in another one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you had a cataract? I had two of them. Oh. I had two cataract surgeries. Oh, really? Uh, what year? Hmm? 60 uh, uh, convertible or... Uh... What, 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 what do you mean convertible? A cataract? Oh, very funny. Very funny. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's a Chinese. Oh, it's a Chinese. They change those it, lenses. It, it's a Chinese car. What? Yeah. They change those lenses. Yeah. I'm thinking. Uh, I want. I have a, a cataract, and they keep telling me it's not ripe enough. Yeah, that's the term they use. Ripe. Yeah, but I was talking to somebody yesterday, and she said uh, uh, that she. Didn't she went to her doctor? One of them said it's not ripe enough. She called back the next day, and boom, they took care of it. Why? It suddenly got ripe? No, it was a different doctor, and uh, and it wasn't Kaiser. Well, you know, I mean, if you've got a cataract, it's probably going to get ripe eventually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and you should do something about it. Um, I know my night vision hasn't been as good but uh, it, for it, twenty it, years. I got to tell you, it's one of the simplest operations around. I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, but girlfriend was saying, you know, the part of the reason she thought maybe I should go see a doctor, she says, my eyes don't look good. Well, uh, it's hard and, to and tell. It don't look jaundice or anything. I looked at them, and they're white, and there's yeah. no veins in them. And I yeah. said, she says, well, she has a blankier stare. And I said, maybe it's because I've had two cataract new lenses put in. And they That's may have taken out some of the color of the eye. Well, we're giving you one red, one blue. Well, that I'd like that so I could read 3D comic books. Yeah, well, or or pretend you're a traffic light, uh, but uh, <laughs> red and green. Yeah, but no, I, I I had two of them, and and the cataract surgery is just so simple. I know, really? folks, this is old people stuff now. This is good. How many listeners? How many <laughs> listeners? Uh, let's see yeah. what we got tonight. Uh, uh, I you would think I had nothing because nobody else is calling. And yet, um, I have a lot of people. No, oh, this is good. Yeah, I have a lot of people. I mean, right. really, a lot of people. Well, uh, you know, complaining about this stuff. Uh, hey, how how about uh, our friend Kim Jong Un? Uh, sets off a big nuclear bomb, uh, and uh, everybody's what, upset. What, what kind of bomb? I never heard of that kind of bomb before. Uh, nuclear. Well, I never heard of that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the, from the George Bush school of enunciation. Yeah. Well, I, I just, you know, good. I'm, I'm glad. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. But he it's, it's, says it's um, it's uh, Clinton's fault. Did he say it's Clinton's fault? Yeah. Why is it Clinton's fault? Well, because she was Secretary of State when uh, uh, the North Korea got their uh, nukes. Uh, and uh, what was she going to do to be able to stop it? Well, she could have thrown her body over the bomb. No, but I mean, what was she going to do to stop? Did he really say that? Yes. He's an idiot. No, he's an idiot. He's really that's idiotic. Because what was she going to do about it? If a country wants a bomb, you know, oh, there she can do to stop well, it. Well, yes, you can negotiate it. But when you're not talking to that country, you can't negotiate it. But China was. China and... doesn't want to negotiate that. Uh, I'm sure China is not happy right now about the uh, explosion. This, the, and uh, I don't I think know that this China. Is... China has been very protective of North Korea. Okay. Yeah. Tony's calling. If people can see, there we go. Yeah. Tony may have won his battle. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Phil's coming on now. Let's see if Tony. Uh, on, 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 camera that, says it's off. Can you see me? Your camera's off. Uh, yeah, turn it on. Yeah, we'll turn it on or something. Yeah, I think I turned it. It should be on. Yeah, why is it? Why is it? Phil's camera always goes wonky when somebody else calls. Uh, this I can't is believe a, he has a look at that. Picture. He's got like a motorcycle, like Marlon Brando in the Wild Wild. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Uh, I. It's, it's, 
you know, tonight's TV night, so it is important. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. Tony. Oh, okay. I can see you too, no, no. but I'm just circling. Nothing's happening. Can you see? Phil? Can you see Phil? No. Uh -huh. No. Okay. I'll call back. Okay, he's gonna call back. Re reboots, you know. It always happens with Phil, though. It never happens with anybody else. That's because I called in, maybe something happens. Yeah, but anyway, uh, folks, uh, if you want to call, please. You know, it's time to call. We only yeah, have call. we only have one person now. And I really don't count as a person. Yeah, you don't count as a person. I have a person. So you say you may have won your battle. Yeah, I, well, so now, let's explain is, what is the battle so much... is. You're trying to throw some homeless people out of a Holiday that, Inn. That, actually, that's not true. I actually feel bad about it, to tell the truth, a little bit. Yeah. I actually know what they're saying. There's so much disinformation. The hotel owner, the guy who owns the, that Holiday Inn, they, uh, the Daily News broke a story in the FBI a few years ago. It's come to light that he was giving money to a local politician, a couple thousand dollars a month. Who's this? Uh, the guy who owns the hotel, Patel. The, the, hotel, but that's the hotel, hotel owner. It's a, it's a Holiday Inn. Yeah, he owns five of them. They said the, there's no, a pro he probably, has, he probably has a franchise on them. Yeah, he you owns five own, of those. You don't own Holiday Inns. So I guess he just buys the name then, I guess, and that's it. We get to, No, he, he buys the franchise for the area. I'm surprised the Holiday Inn has a, has a... So pretty much now he's getting second thoughts. He says now he... The owner of the hotel wants to back out of the plan. And he's saying the city... He sent a letter to the community board over by us, and the, and the member of the board, the leader was reading it to everybody and linked it out, you know, showed everybody. Don't do that. It's Pretty TV much says night. he wants to back out and the city won't let him. Hold on a second. Phil, don't do that. It's TV uh, night. Don't play with that. Uh, it, it was messed up. Now, let me fix it. No, it's messed up now. Yeah, because I got out of it. There you go. That's fine. We give, we give a long shot. That's fine. You know. All right. Then you can see all the crap in the room. Please, all somebody briefcases. else call up this program. So, so yeah. basically... I don't this believe goes it. Off at eleven o'clock, if this is all we got. Right. But anyway, go uh, ahead. What were you go saying? Go ahead. Tony. Oh, so anyway, the uh, hotel owner uh, wrote, contacted the community board member, Bob Bob Holden, and he gave him a formal letter. He talked to him on the phone. He addressed everybody tonight, mm -hmm. and he said basically he wants to back out of the deal, but uh, the Blasio and his cronies are not taking no for an answer. They want that hotel. I don't know if he signed a contract tonight. Why does tonight. Blasio want this hotel? Well, I guess they, maybe he has something signed already and he doesn't want him to back out of it. He wants to use it. It's for they a turned the quality shelter, right? in on Queens Boulevard last week. They never even gave a formal meeting. They just turned it over to a homeless shelter. And they didn't it's tell poor anything. homeless people that uh, these people... But it's, it's not like that, though. I, I actually feel bad to tell you the truth. But them. Alex, it's high-risk adults. It isn't like it's like a family. In there. They're all adults. What is a high-risk adult? Somebody like Tony. No. <laughs> no, they actually have criminal records on them. I'm telling you, it's really, and they're going to have, here's my question to you. I wouldn't mind if it was families. They're going to have peace cops there 24 hours a day, and they're going to have a 10 o'clock curfew. This did you meet like Curtis jet. Sliwa? Tony, did you get to meet Curtis Sliwa? Sliwa. Oh, actually, Sliwa. No, uh, you, got, you got him pegged right on the butt now. Oh, by, the, by, the way, by the way, Phil, your yeah. microphone isn't on. You're talking out of your, uh, your camera. Who, me? Yeah. All yeah, right. the microphone. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. What were you doing? Screwing with it today, Phil? No, no. It's, oh, uh, uh, I see his eyes working up, Alex. He's trying to fix them. <laughs> no, oh, Alex, Curtis came down today. What? Curtis Sleva. So what? I know, and you know he came down dressed in his red outfit. Actually, I shouldn't say that because he called He's me. He's not a bad guy. guy. Well, I never liked him much. But, really? he, but he did call me once. And, for his radio show and said, I always wanted to talk to you because you were one of my heroes when I was See? Really young. See? Alex, you don't really, you don't realize how many I, people... I, I really never liked Curtis Lewa, you know. But he listened to you in the 70s, probably in New York. Yeah. You can't take a compliment, I know. You're very... No, uh, no, this has nothing to do with compliments. It's, what? it's hypocritical of me to have been slamming oh, this guy for years <laughs> on the air I think and then yeah. to suddenly think he's wonderful because he likes me. Of course he should well, like me. He, I'm a great broadcaster. We know that. You know, you have such, you know what I find amazing when you I felt what a thing that attracts me to Alex is his huge ego. I kind of like that. I don't know why. Who, who's huge ego? You. You have a big ego. I don't have a huge I, ego at all. No, but as an entertainer, I think you, no, you don't, don't realize no, it. No, I don't. All right. So he's, he's very insecure. 
And yeah, they, I don't, I don't really put that in there. Yeah. Well, anyway, 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 he came down and he gave like a whole speech with the whole red outfit and stuff like that. And I got actually a card. He handed out a his. See how that guardian angel they handed out cards if people want to join. Like, like I'm a beret. It's like you get beret. No, I should have told him. Make America great again. Beret. Did he, did he we could charge him triple. No, is he wearing a beret? <laughs> yeah, you're right. He came down with the beret, the jacket. He got on that little like mini like makeshift stage, and he was like, "I hate the mayor." Pretty much the whole nine yards. It was good though, actually. You, did he bring his wife? His wife used to be really hot. No, no, they uh, they got divorced. Oh. Yeah, he just came down with, a, with like, a, I don't know who the guy was, somebody who thought he needed, which was a nice thing they do, I guess. Big guy? <laughs> no, actually, he was short and heavy, but I don't know who the hell he's going to protect. This guy needs to hit the gym, this guy is walking around. I mean, come on, let's go here. Yeah. But he was a nice guy. I said, geez, I hope you're not for trouble. Wait a minute, he didn't look like he could be a very good No, no, not at all. The guy was handing out cards? No. I mean, I, yeah, he needs somebody to protect him, I look yeah, like. You don't know. Saying, oh. I mean, you don't want to have a... Uh, you don't want to have a bodyguard that looks imposing, because well, he's definitely not imposing. Because if you do, you're asking for trouble. Oh no! Yeah, no. He, he, I didn't think he was a bodyguard. I just think he was probably one of his guardian angel guys. Like you, he was a nice guy. When, when sure. was, now I'm going to be a bodyguard. No, but now I, Phil's a real cop. He's I, like a peace cop. You'd be at the hotel. When I was out at events, people never yeah. knew that I had a bodyguard. That he was. He was about. He was about uh, five, ten feet behind me. Oh, wow. And and never looked like he was with me, but he was there to protect me in case anything happened. Was he actually a taster, a food taster for you? So no. Really? Poison? Imagine he's tasting his food. I'll have this. Come in. I can see him asking for, where's my dinner? He's you also the guy that, that, like, when we did shows and we got paid in cash. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, the, you didn't have people bring your food, did you? With the gun. Oh, and, and, for and, that, you and, wanted a gun. I got the true anti-gun. Made a late-night deposit at the bank, you know. Oh, because of the money, I see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also worked as a driver and things like that. Those were in the days when I, yeah, when I used to be a big shot. Anyway. So, for, so that, okay, that's okay, a, there's I, 12 more minutes, folks, and then I'm, yeah, I'm really it? closing this down. What I'm going to do for the whole hour is nothing. It's just going to be... Hey, silent. where's Renee this week? Uh, she's got hurricanes, big ones. Really? Yeah, Patrick, did he call you? I can call you. I was watching. Well, she, she's able to go on Facebook. Yeah, uh, I see her. On, yeah, I see her. Electricity is 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 out. Put she, put I think. Oh. Yeah. Well, then how's she how's she uh, sending out stuff to Facebook? Uh, on your phone, you know, you got a battery, and uh, well, yeah, but then how do you charge the battery? Well, once the battery dies, it's over. Yeah. Well, Patrick. Oh, somebody's Patrick's, Patrick's coming. coming online. So, you know. So, so uh, the, the, the show could be saved here. <laughs> well, what else you got going today? Uh, anything new? I'm drinking Pete's coffee. I went out and I got a, oh, you got sam Pete's coffee. a sampler pack of like four of their different flavors so I can decide which one I like the best. So, Frank I can show you the coffee. Well, this is the whole house blend. Uh, oh, house. Uh, I bought jail coffee. I should show it to you. Hold on. You bought what? I'll show you. You're never going to believe this. It's going to be for the mayor soon, I think. Is this uh, Major Dickinson uh, uh, house blend? Or? I, no, I, I have that, too. Uh, hello, Patrick. We're not getting a picture on you yet, though. It's coming around. All right. Try it again. We'll see what happens. It'll, you'll come in eventually. I think it's a slow night for Skype or something. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I had problems when I was uh, having the same uh, problem. What is that uh, safe house? But look, it's oh, made in Queens. For, look, it's it, they have a whole line of jailbird coffee. I'm going to send it to Blasio, baby. Ah, don't waste your money. <laughs> look, it's grounded in Queens, Alex. I like the logo. Yeah. I saw it in Food Bazaar. He's really. Got I got to buy this. I said. Yeah, you've really got a Republican attitude about the Blasio. I still can't see you, Patrick. What's the problem? I wonder. You're right. Phil's rubbing off hey, on me. You have bad influence. Hey, shut up, Tony. <laughs> Uh, Tony never listens that other people are talking. Are you there, Patrick? Yeah, I'll click it on and off again. Yeah. Why don't you uh, Why don't you sign out and sign back in? That okay. seems That seems to work. All yeah. right. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, boy, not a good night for Skype, huh? Oh. Uh, well, uh, Tony, I don't waste your money sending De Blasio anything. No, I would never even waste coffee on him. I'm just joking about that. Yeah. I'm praying to God he gets impeached or thrown out or 
song. He's such a schmuck, really, I think. Okay. They're not going to impeach him. There are people that love him. But we're just going to have to vote him out. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we got Patrick, and now it's, it's whirling around. And there he is. There's Ooh. Patrick, folks. Hey. Right Any there. more phone calls? I like the phone call I did the other day. There he is. There he is. See, I'm, putting, I'm running the cursor around his face so you can see it. Oh, the savior of the universe has, has finally called me, so I don't have to put up with the, the moron shit. <laughs> I, I thought Scott was the savior of the universe. Well, yeah, but uh, Scott doesn't look like Scott's online tonight, so he may have had something to do. Yeah, he was up late last night uh, on the intersection, so, you know. Well, no, he does the intersection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, pro Texas. He's pro Texas. Yeah, but where is it? Usually Friday nights we come close to a full house, and tonight it looks like we're not coming anywhere near that. Oh wait a minute, Rob Alfano just no signed problem. on, so he should be calling any second. What do you know? Just in time. There we <laughs> go. There we go. Maybe it's the eleven o'clock. Rob, Rob, did you call because you heard me pleading? <laughs> Did you, uh, did you hear my, I didn't hear my, you pleading? I, I, I heard a little bit of the beginning, and I didn't hear you pleading, though. Oh, I, I was begging. I was, you know, because <laughs> otherwise I would have been stuck with Tony and Phil. And what is that? <laughs> that's well, that's you know, tough. As I, as I just called them, the moron squad, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, hey, you know, I got something to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Thank you, Phil, for being with yeah, us. Yeah, wait a minute. i got to wash my you tush. Know, if you hung up right now, I bet we get like eight other callers. <gasps> so? Uh, no, uh, no, let's not, let's not do it. I but, should, yeah, I'll take one for the cause. Well, you know, on nights that you say, I'm not going to be there tomorrow night. Yeah. And, and then I, I kind of worry because I'm going, well, I'll have less people then, right? And yeah. then uh, I get like a lot of people calling because they notice the coast is clear. Uh, well, you might get Tom, but, you know, I, yeah. I think I've got a good truce with Tom. You know, he respects me. I respect him. Tom Yamaguchi. Yeah, we haven't heard from Tom in a while. No, you know? no. And I, I, say I his name I, three times, calls. he will appear, I think. Tom, Tom. He usually Tom. listens, though, Tom. Huh? But Tom likes to listen. I don't think he likes to interact much with Well, no, he does, but he, I, I, he's kind of, it's kind of like me. I never call any of the other shows, and there's a reason for that. Uh, because I just don't think I make a very good citizen panelist. Well, I'm used you know, to being a host. Those, you know? those shows need support. Maybe if you did call, no, they... But uh, I, I, I'm terrible at it. I yeah. really I'm, I feel I'm terrible at it. Plus, uh, you, you have a tendency as a host, if you become a citizen panelist, to kind of take over the show. Well, sometimes that's okay. Well, sometimes it's not. You know, So that's <laughs> why I usually about don't... About Star follow. Wars? Huh? You know anything about Star Wars? No. No, neither do well, I. I. Well, no, I know enough about Star Wars. Patrick yeah. knows a lot about Star Wars. But, but what is it that Damien likes? Is it uh, Star uh, Wars or uh, Star he Trek? He did a month worth of Star Trek. And I oh, was yeah. thinking to to uh, equal that tedium, uh, I would do a month of uh, Deep Space uh, of space 1999. Uh, uh, Remember it's Space 1999? Uh, so Oh, is that a cartoon or something? Or, or it, it was no, it was a show. Really, and I, I, I missed that one. Yeah, but I mean, he did. He did a month of talking about Star Trek. Yeah, you know, he uh, he gave his he gave his panelists homework to do. Yeah, <laughs> you don't just get to listen to him. You have yeah. to do homework. Right. Well, you know, I, I had a lot of respect for that. They did their homework. They did their homework, yeah. yeah. But he would say this this show is an assignment. But I, I heard it the first night he did it, and then I went, he's doing it again tonight, and then he, uh, again the next night. And then finally we're into it for three weeks. I'm going, is this thing ever going to end? And well, then, it's the 50th well, you know, then uh, when it's the 20th anniversary, we'll celebrate the 20th anniversary, and that'll be it. And then I tune in tonight, and he's doing another night of Star Trek. So well, he I, must I, know this stuff backwards and forwards. Well, by now he does, if he didn't when he started. Yes, yeah. Patrick. Well, today is the 50th anniversary. Is today the 50th yeah. anniversary or was yesterday the 50th anniversary? Oh, today is. Because all the, all the TV networks were doing stories about Star Trek last night. Right, in anticipation of today. So my understanding is today it is, and even if it was yesterday, yeah. it's a yeah. good way for him to end out the week. And it's done now. So yeah. 
But I will have to say, Damien, if you're listening, you, know, you did a very good job of it. I mean, it was very studious. Yeah. You know, but I, I just sat here going, is it ever going to end? You know, I love sure. Star Trek, but I don't love it that much. If you're in another time zone, it might be today if it wasn't yesterday. Oh, you do. <laughs> but uh, anyway, congratulations, Damien, for, uh, for managing to do that for a solid month. You know, that I just a lot of work. What? That's it what I say. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Space 1999. And do you remember yeah. Space 1999, Rob? No interest in um, sci-fi. Uh, do you know Ow. Space Ow. 1999, Patrick? Heard of it. Don't know about that it. That was the guy who did the puppet space stuff, or the uh, the what was the name of that airplane jet thing where they had puppets? It was in England. And the guy who did that did Space 1999, but it wasn't See, puppets. Oh, you Martin really Lanzow, want to make sure you Marvel kill Bain. your show. What? You want to make sure you kill off your show and all the listeners and the callers. Yeah, I mean, I wonder <laughs> if anybody out there knows about Space 1999. Well, maybe they'll light up the board. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, but you know what? If I did a month of that, I'd actually have to watch the fucking show again. And it was one of the worst shows ever in the history of television. It was just terrible, and it went for two seasons, I think. Sure. You know, but, but don't you don't you remember those? You, 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 like uh, the guys from South Park did that marionette movie. Yeah. You know, well that was a takeoff on the kind of thing these guys used to do in England. And I'm just trying to remember uh, something or go. What is the name of that that series that they did? But somebody can somebody will probably call me up or 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 put it up on Facebook or whatever, chiding me that I don't remember who the guys were. Yeah. Uh, he, Alex, you don't remember who you were. <laughs> so. I don't remember what happened yesterday. You yeah. know, I had to call Shecky. I called Shecky yesterday, or day before yesterday, maybe it was yesterday, to have him tell me what happened to me after I left play. Because he was a kind of involved in that. He came out, and then we traveled across the country together. But he had the... he had. I wanted him to give me the timeline, and I said to him, "Okay, so what year did we uh, did we drive out?" And he said, "I don't know. I'll have to look at my receipts." Oh, <laughs> you know? you and still I still have them. I figured he knows. Like for instance, he knows every movie ever made. Okay, well, prior to 1950. Okay, but he can tell you who was in it and who starred in it and blah blah blah, off, all off the top of his head, right? Ask him when we went from California to yeah, New York for a week, funny, yeah. and he couldn't remember the year till he looked at his receipts. So mm. it was uh, it was July two thousand three. That had to be a nice trip cross country. Yeah, that must that would be fun. Like, did you take video of it or no? What? That's when you went to Graceland, right? Yeah, we went to Graceland, and that sounds and nice. nice. Yeah, we went to a great rib joint. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. In Memphis. Porky's or I, I was there. Is that Porky's? Am I right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good rib, good rib joint. After going to uh, Graceland. Yeah, but Graceland. Yeah. Really sucked. Compared yeah. To the other tour we took, which was Sun Records. Oh, oh Sun yeah. Records was, was amazing. amazing. Wasn't it amazing, Aunt Rob? Amazing. Yeah. Everybody goes to Graceland and they don't think about Sun Records. That tour. You're standing in this little mm -hmm. studio where the great people have stood. I mean, people like B.B. King, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, Johnny Cash. Uh, who else? Who, who am I missing here? Oh, uh, man. All of the, you know, um, Chuck Berry, right? Carl Perkins. Carl Perkins. All of those guys. Bill Haley. And you know you have to be stepping in their footprints because it's such a small what? studio. I got such goosebumps when they played that medley of songs that were recorded in that studio. And they, when they yeah. tell you, oh, you're standing in the spot where the microphones were set up for, you know, and you're like, wow. It was an intense. Yeah. So if you're ever, if you're ever in Memphis, you got to go take the Sun Records tour. But then we took, we went one other place, uh, which was important to Shecky and I because, you know, we know about history and so on. Hey, here's Paul. Hello, Paul. A blast from the past. Hello, how are you? Fine. Hold on a second, because I want to finish with what I was saying. The the um, where we went was a place that Shecky and I hold with great reverence. We went to the St. Jude's Hospital so we could see the grave 
of Danny Thomas. You know? and, uh, and, and there's a whole thing about, you know, the, the history of the life of Danny Thomas, um, right? right? And uh, we, we just wondered where the glass coffee table was. Oh, uh, was that he didn't? Did he do Mr. Coffee? No, no. Uh, you don't. You don't know the glass coffee table story about Danny Thomas? No. It's, it's supposedly one of his little peccadillos was to hire a hooker and bring them in, and he would sit under the glass coffee table, and they would shit on it. <laughs> oh my God! Jeez. That's kind of funny if you think about it. Oh, and yeah. if the Thomas family wants to sue me great because i don't have any money but it would sure be fun to have the press say that alex bennett is being sued because he said danny thomas liked to sit under and lie under a, a glass coffee table and have hookers shit on him what Phil would have to put new rugs in after that it, it, no what happened you have to miss hogging and shit out no you're shitting on the glass you don't think anybody would hit you all the dynamics of this sort of thing hi paul how you been doing oh uh, hiding I'm hiding. good. <laughs> what, what, hiding? Why are you hiding? Not nah, normally at this time, Alex. I'm passed out. Oh yeah, you're an old man. No, no, no. I'm just tired and yeah, little, close to legally blind. Close to legally blind. When did that start? Well, this eye, which is my right eye. Well, you're, we, we're not. We don't see a, pic, a video of you, although. No video. Oh, uh, turn on. Uh, if you can still see it, click on the camera. Oh, let me see if it's plugged in. I haven't used it for like a hundred years. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, I should say that. Well, it, eh, forget about it. I'll get it going after we speak. Yeah, but anyway, so you, you, you have one eye is bad, right? Yeah. And how about the other eye? The, the doc says a membrane over it. Some kind of membrane. So that's that's uh, not a. Cancer. I had an uncle who had that same exact problem. They would cut the membrane, and he could see again, but it always grew back. No, it's not a cataract. It's the other thing. It's, yeah, it's a membrane. It, it looks like the no, white of your called, eye grows it's called, over your. It's called something. Yeah, it's not cataract for sure. No, it's, it's a cataract. Hot cataract. No. Like a shark has that membrane over the eye. It looks just like the white of your eye. I have an uncle who has it, and it grows over your the cornea of your eye and you can't see you could do surgery to get it removed but it grows back yeah I, i'm having that on the 20th of the surgery yeah well then you should be able to see okay right well, god yes. willing yeah wow. yeah yeah uh, I know my camera's not working on the settings i see it on skype is there is there a picture of a camera on uh, the uh, on skype a little Round the, circle with a it, it, it says it. Okay, it's on. There now. we go. There, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Paul. Hi. We used to call Hi, everybody. Paul. Hi, Patrick. We used to. Now, where are you living these days, Paul? Still Omaha. And still, Patrick. How's your buddy Trump doing? Oh, it's not his. I just came just to tell him that. <laughs> it's my buddy, no, Patrick. I, no, no, Patrick. No, Phil Meyer, who you see down there. Is uh, is the big Trump guy? Oh, right now. yeah. Patrick, somebody trumped you? Uh, oh yeah. He look at him. He's got to keep America great I, cap. See that? Hmm. Well, if I don't know if you can see it with the membrane, but you know there it is. Oh. See that? So. Uh, I have the um, pleasure of having three passports, <laughs> yeah. so I could always run out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so no guy with three passports. Since but we don't talk to you that often, and I wish you would call more often, you're al you've always been a very vociferous politically. And I like politics, and you must hate what's going on. Okay, okay, Alex, let me give it to you in a nutshell. All right. In my neck of the woods, yeah. right? Yeah. When we have elections, I make more money than I make on Christmas on advertising. Because they come in and they buy a ton of advertising. Okay, yeah. so let's say party A advertised and party B advertised, then party A gives me, you say, five bucks more. I'm just trying to numbers than party B. So I give in party A a little bit more airtime in terms of you know access to the candidates. So party B calls me up and says, oh, 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 what are you doing, man? Do we have friends? 
I said, well, A is spending more. So now B gives me more. And it goes just like that. And you get this wonderful bidding war going, and that makes Paul Dar just really rich. Oh, extremely rich. Extremely um, rich. But the way they screwed up here, yeah. in not making the money they could have made, I'm just talking about me. Now, I, you tell me, you're selling advertising where? In the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. You own radio stations down there? No, television, cable, internet, yeah. sell. The Wolves. Hey, do you need, you need a talk show host? Anyway. I have a talk show host. I have a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, we, we, anyway. You want some homeless people? What? You want some homeless people? Wait, 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 why do we want, how does that come I'm just I'm sitting out. here trying to get a fucking job and you're talking uh, about homeless people. Anyway, Paul. Kind of so, the major so it, it, but in the Caribbean, uh, do they, uh, uh, these people that vote in the American election, like... Uh, no, Europe? no, it's, no, it were formerly British colonies. Yeah, and so it so, has to do with uh, elections in that part of the world. Yeah, no, 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 they're not American, they can't vote. Yeah. So, uh, which part of the Caribbean, Paul? Trinidad, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, Grenada, I'm hands all over the place. And I just make money. I mean, it, it, it's a money maker. Only because of my health, I'm not doing what I love. It's my love of my life. Forget the money part. How is it that uh, it's so profitable there, but it's not that profitable anymore here? Because from what I hear when I speak to them at NAB, the competition is high. You've got so many cable outlets. And then you've got the internet too. That's yeah, social up some media. Of money too. Yeah, and they, they they put ads there too. So it's the money is you know there's a hundred bucks to spend. You have a hundred bucks as your um, budget, but you got so many outlets, and you want to put your thing in every single one. You know, yeah. you don't put it a better one. But in case somebody watches a stupid one, so that was happening. Do you guys have Arbitron ratings? Well, I think no. TV is probably uh, Nielsen. Right? Uh, unfortunately, no. We have a guy from the neighboring, well, Barbados, who comes down and he does survey reports and he sells it to the advertisers, you know, advertising agencies. And to us and to everybody else. So I'm making money. I'm not complaining. The only thing, um, Alex, you want to laugh? Yeah. I have a warrant on my head in Florida. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. A warrant. Now you were you had a home in Florida. In the Keys. In the Keys, right? Key Lago, but do nice. you still have that home, and you yeah. can't go to it, or did you get rid of the home? No, no, it's still there. So my ex-wife on the divorce. I just got. Effing okay, fella. so that 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 wife you had, yeah, I believe we saw occasionally on when you would call. No, that's my new wife. Oh, that's your new wife. Okay, so she, you're still with her. Yep. That's all cool. No, he's married. It's not all cool, but it's it's yeah, right. Hey, Paul, what's but the no, name? No, let me finish. Let me finish asking. Oh, sorry. So what? You know, he didn't even get to what happened to him in Florida and why yeah. he's a wanted man in Florida. I went. I went over there. I had to have surgery. I had to postpone it, post it surgery again for a second time. And I went there with my accent. Right. You know, in the Caribbean, unfortunately, and I'm saying that unfortunately, when we speak, we generalize. Mm -hmm. Like when I say a couple of us going out, a couple is not two for us. A couple is a few. Yeah. So we do not think. So when I was talking about the company that I no longer own, I keep on saying we. You know? Yeah. So the judge takes that as I'm still in the company. So That's just is, how we speak. This is something you had with an ex-wife, right? No, she didn't own anything. Huh? Oh, she doesn't she, own anything. Then what I told her I had this I have a silver hair on a submission, she writes. But he had the company silver there. He could get all the records. 
I want to tell you, cunt, sorry, God forgive me for saying that word. A server doesn't mean, comp uh, there's all kind of servers. It's a video server. It's a what? You know? mm -hmm. It's a video server. It's a video server. But yeah. with her, you know, coming after me for not producing documentaries, I say, no longer own the company. Legally, I don't. So, no. wait, wait, wait. I, I get, cut to the chase. Why are you wanted in Florida? So they put a high amount for me to pay her. I give me 10 days. I took To pay her? Yeah. I tell them, fuck off my mind. Took the plane the next day, flew back to Omaha. And you can never uh, go back to Florida again. I, well, anyway. Which yeah, is, I mean, the actually, rest anyway. actually, not having to go back to Florida is not the worst thing that could possibly <laughs> happen to you. No, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just that um, because every I time I hear it, when I, anytime I hear that the water may be rising because of global warming, and then all of Miami will be wiped out, That's and about right. half of Florida, I'm 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 just hoping it happens fast. Me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So Patrick, how are you doing, buddy? He's silent. <laughs> the way he said that. I'm a, I'm alive. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Just, you know. Patrick is Patrick. Yeah. You know, I, I I'm very fond of Patrick. I mean, not in that way. I'm very fond of Patrick because not it, that there's anything wrong with that. Well, no. In that way. No. <laughs> and and sitting in that chair, he is the right height for certain things. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it's TV night. They got to see you doing a bit. Um, but uh, um, no, uh, he, Patrick's been doing all right. And, and Phil has been just, he's been hawking me a chinik is the term, that uh, is a Yiddish term, meaning just nags the shit out of you about how wonderful Trump is. Trump can do nothing wrong, you know, and. Yeah. I thought Hakim China meant that you're driving a nail into the wall. No. No? But don't don't I, me. Alex, you heard his latest thing tonight that kind of freaked me. What, what was that? He said that the Iranis, if they do the same crap they did when they went around our destroyer or whatever it was, oh, with yeah. the little boats, you know? Didn't they buzz them with the, with the planes? They well, that was that one with little boats, you know, they little. Oh, oh, and they they uh, they boarded them, right? Well, I think they did, but whatever. He says if that ever happens, shoot them. Oh, good, good. This is a guy. You know, walk. this is a guy that's seen one too many John Wayne movies. Uh, you know, when they took our sailors hostage and they took away their guns and they made them record all sorts of apologies. Uh, were they outnumbered, or uh, were they just told not to engage? Not to engage, definitely. Yeah. Probably not to engage. I mean, you know, you don't want to... St you really want to start an international incident? Maybe the Iranians do. No, well, maybe they do, but you don't give them the, uh, the uh, cause to do that. You know? I mean, that's why when we talk about a president having to have the uh, disposition... Uh, to to be president and to not just you know go crazy. Um, you they know. they wouldn't have boarded our vessel and taken our men hostage if they knew that they would have been fired upon. Uh, you know the problem is is that we're we've lost our we've lost our balls. Oh and, uh, yeah yeah and our balls could get it shoved right up our ass if we don't do it the right way. Well, I mean, you, 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 you know, you, you've got this, this, this movie mentality. Thank God, you know, the interesting one thing that was good about Reagan was he had been in movies, so he knew what was a movie and what wasn't a movie. Well, you know, Trump I, doesn't. Yes, Rob. Trump okay. understands power and that people respect it. Yeah. Rob, you wanted to say something? I was going to say, you mean like, uh, forget it. It's well, past. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead. I got my mouth full. I'm I'm chewing over here. What are you eating? Oh, I'm I'm I had a very very early dinner and I'm starving, so I'm eating pita chips. Oh, that's good for you. No, oh, well, you know I've given up until I get off these friggin' pills. Well, and I'm swallowing it with with zambuca. 
No, well, that, that, now that's okay. <coughs> Zambuga doesn't have carbs, I don't think. Nah. I want to ask Paul, uh, since he lived in Key Largo, that there's a place, uh, a market that it, that sells uh, stone crab uh, in Key Largo that I went to. It was kind of off the beaten track, and they had the these gigantic... Why is it whenever you hear somebody live somewhere, you suddenly do a travelogue about it? What's the name of the place? I can't remember. Crabs I have no idea what you're talking about. What you no idea? Okay. Yep, true. Uh, it was somewhere near mile oh, marker oh, one. Oh, no, it's Bob Stone Crab. Now will you shut up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does eat around. You, you know the food places. What? Oh, yeah. He knows all the fish places. Oh, it sounds well, like. I mean, he has to eat. Ten times a day. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say. Oh, I, yeah, I go. You know, I used to go to Marathon Key, and then I found this place, and it was it was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. To uh, just for stone crab. For just for so stone crab. That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah, I I just always felt stone crab was the evil idea, because they rip off a stone crab's claw and then throw them back in the water, and just when it's growing back again and it's just almost right they pull them out of the water again and rip the claw off again that's mean fool me once, shame on you huh yeah. fool me once shame on you <laughs> fool me twice where's my fucking claw yeah i mean <laughs> after a while you know oh here's that fucking trap again am i might getting in either, there either that or they, you know they take the claw off and the crab is going not again well, didn't didn't Trump say he oh. had no respect for those crabs because they got captured? Yes, right. He did say <laughs> that. He did say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, but, well, Trump got Trump today, tonight. Oh, really? How? You know, he talked all the crap about Russia. Yeah. Russia and America this evening came to an agreement about Syria. Yeah. Really? Did you hear about that, Phil? No. Oh, you're always on top of the news, aren't you? I was watching the news before I came in. I didn't I hear. I was coming over on my watch, on my phone, on the TV. All right. It blocks out the negative. And no, I I, I had no negative. idea. So this, they, is a, this is a plus for the Obama administration. Russia has agreed to cooperate and do a uh, co cooperative move uh, to go after ISIS in Syria. That's good. That's great. What's wrong with that? Yeah. That's what Trump wanted. It, that's pretty much the sen the sense of it, right, Paul? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know what Trump's going to say tomorrow about this. He should be happy. No, he'd do it better. He'd do it better? <laughs> yeah. Is that what he that, said? That's what he would say. Oh, okay. I'll do it better. We'll have to wait. You know who I feel sorry for? I'll tell you, I've been watching, I watch the news. and Melania? No, I, I feel sorry for those reporters who have to stand out in front of Trump Tower every day. Because whenever they do the stand-up report, they're always standing out in front of Trump Tower. And there must be like three of them out there at the same time, you know, all lined up. Uh, why go to Trump Tower? What, what's the sense of that? Just, and they make sure they have the word Trump Tower in back of them. Which, uh, which is which, pretty hard uh, to miss. What? Group of reporters is this? It's not CNN because I, I have it. NBC, CBS, ABC. What are these yeah. news outlets going to get smart and start using green screen? Well, that, that, and when during a storm, aren't the weather people going to go indoors and through a plate glass window say, "Will you look at that going on out there?" Yeah, they should have somebody just throwing buckets of water at them uh, when they can be nice and comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, uh, did you ever have any hurricanes when you were in Key Largo, Paul? I was there for Andrew. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever happened to me. Yeah. Both in Miami and Key Largo. Oh, yeah. Just lost power. And that's about it. We were now, lucky. Isn't, isn't the word key kind of a bastardization of the word as it's supposed to be pronounced, which is K? Aren't those K's as opposed to keys? Got me there. Yeah. But, uh, well, that's all I got. K, <laughs> you know, I've heard of things called uh, something K. Uh, but, um, 
the the keys, I think they refer to the fact that they uh, well, it sort looks of, it, it shouldn't be they shouldn't be called keys. They should be called gonorrheas. Uh, <laughs> because if you ever look at I and I used to say this when I was working in Florida. Um, I, I said, uh, because I hated the town, so I had wanted to get out of there. So at the end, I was saying things like, you know something? This state looks like a giant penis. And I don't want to even know what that venereal disease is they call the Keys. Why did you hate it so much, you think? Why do I, I love how you put that. Why did you hate it so much, do you think? Yeah, I know. You know what? It's fucking Miami. Have you ever been there? Yeah, as a kid, I, I went to Miami Beach. And my mother took me to Miami. It was, I liked it, but I don't remember much other than it all in the pool. Yeah. Stuff. Where did you live in Miami? Coral Gables or? Oh, me? No, no, uh, Alex. Coconut Grove. Well, that's South nice. area. What? That's a nice area. You didn't and like that it? That is, hor it is horrendous. Traffic. Crazy. Huh? Traffic. Paul, Paul, Paul said it. Paul said it. What, Paul? What did you say, Paul? Traffic. Yep. Yeah. I couldn't get out of my fucking apartment on a Saturday or Sunday. What, tourists? The, the traffic. Wow. You know, if I left the house, I had to say to myself, I'm not going back till like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't get back. Oh, you would hate it here. Same way in the keys on weekends. It's terrible. Why, why where you are, Rob? Because they're putting up so many developments here they're building so much and the road systems here are just absolutely horrific it took me i had to be in uh, i had to drive nine miles to an office on wednesday tuesday morning mm -hmm. it took me an hour to go nine miles wow that's like la it's brutal yeah. and they keep building there's another new development and and they're building very dense you know it's a lot of townhomes built on no property and they just keep building these blocks and blocks of them and they don't improve the roadways and they're building schools like crazy but we don't have the infrastructure to support people going to work wow it's brutal wow hate it it's terrible it's lucky that uh i don't commute anymore uh yes patrick yeah, I, I was just gonna say rob that is the one thing that despite not being employed um, the route that I would take to my former employer has been under construction every two or three years and for at least six months out of the year. And it's going through that right now. And I just happened to needed to take that roadway. Um, and what would have been a normal 15 minute commute took well over an hour. Yeah. And it's only 11 miles. And it's like, you know, give me a break. And then we've got some development happening. And this is more comical to me than anything. There's a stretch of road uh, where there was some old building that they raised. And now they're going to build new apartment, townhome, that kind of what you're talking about. And there's this big sign that announces what it is. Mm-hmm. And right now, everything is pretty much flat, and they've got all the rubble removed and all of that. And the big sign says, coming fall of 2016. And I'm going, it's already fall. <laughs> what is coming? I mean, give me a fucking break. This is at least a two-year project. So I don't know if... Somebody screwed up in the sign making, and it should be like 2018. They go or... up fast. You know how quickly this house was built. I live in a townhouse, and it was—it's a row of seven homes. Mm -hmm. And I put my deposit in in June, late, late May, early June of '09. I was in here, and so was everybody else in this row in September. They build these things like you can't believe they go up like weeds. I'll, I'll be amazed if they can get some building done in that home. I mean, it it got to be about 10 or 15 acres of land that is ready for uh, construction. Well, there's a housing boom going on, isn't there? Yeah, well, here there is. Are we heading for another one of those uh, 
Yes. Problem. Well, because of all the new homes going up here, it's not affecting the prices of the incumbent homes. Like if I want to sell this place, I'll make a little bit of a profit. But because you can say, well, I can buy a seven-year-old place or for the same money, I can go buy one that no one's ever shit in the toilets. Right. Yeah, but it doesn't have a backyard that's planted or anything. Well, you, you know. get to do that yourself. Yeah. The, uh, I got to tell, of... tell you something. Uh, uh, you know, girlfriend owns a, co a condominium here in New York that she bought for an insider's price, which is just unbelievably low. Uh, the woman upstairs above her just moved to Miami and sold hers and got about four times wow. what she put into it just a few years ago. Yeah, there's been a real boom in prices, but in Manhattan, four single bedroom apartments, believe right. it or not. Wow. Uh, you know, it's easy to find two bedrooms, easy to find studios, very hard to find one bedroom apartments now. Wow, and that's usually the one that you you don't usually get so much money for because well, in New York City, yeah. single bedrooms I guess would be big because yeah. families don't live there. So yeah. But, uh, be but desirable. You, you know, I mean, we, she heard about this price. This woman got rid of it for, and I went, "That's almost four times what you bought this thing for." Damn. You know, and that's it, just in a short amount of time. There's uh, our retirement. You know. Did she live there before you guys uh, shacked up? Huh? Did she live there before you guys moved in together? Yes. Yeah. Huh. In fact, she lived there. She rented, and then it went condo. And so she bought her apartment. That was smart. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, she says it's the smartest thing she's ever done because she yeah. claims to have been pretty stupid with money all her life. She's the smartest thing I ever did. And then she told him that she wanted to pay it off over 15 years and not 30. And so she's gotten a lot of it taken care of. And, and uh, uh, you know, she uh, it became a real annuity for her. Now, as to whether it will stay that high, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen to the housing market in New York City? The bottom could fall out. Why not sell it now, then? She doesn't need it. Huh? Uh, why not well, sell it now? It'll fluctuate. Well, because, uh, you know, why? We don't have any reason for her to sell it right now. We well, don't just need to the keep money. the money. Well, you know, on the other hand, it could go up. Mm -hmm. You know? You get positive I mean, cash flow. Huh? You get positive cash flow because she got in low enough that, I would, uh, yeah. you know. I would sell it if Trump gets elected. Well, if anybody <laughs> gets elected. Yeah. Uh, you can pretty much be guaranteed the interest rates are going to be uh, increased on uh, home ownership. Yeah. And if that happens, then the price will fall or there'll be a bubble uh, because they'll, you know. So what are you reading? What are you, read, what are you reading, Paul? Um, I got something from the American Flim. I can never say that word. Flim. Um, what is it? American Flim Institute. Film Institute. Yeah, oh, is it Flem? Uh, yeah, it's the American Flem Institute. AFI. Yeah, you remember the AFI? Yeah. Wow. I'm a member, and they want to know if I want to renew my membership. Oh. Do you, do you get to vote on anything with that, or get screeners, or? Yeah, I get screeners. They all that crap. <laughs> I get on the internet, so big deal. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me ask you this, Paul. I, I and I and I can't remember, so please excuse me if I can't remember. Are you are you a citizen? Of the yeah. United States? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, how, as a citizen of the United States, are you able to own a broadcasting property in the Caribbean? Are you also a uh, citizen of the Caribbean area oh, there? Yes. So he had three passports. So yeah. you have dual citizenship. Yeah. More than we were talking yeah. about this the other night. Is that... Is the he United said he had three. States? You have three. Which, which which countries? United States, Trinidad, yeah, and Saint Lucia. And Saint Lucia. Oh wow! When I move to the Philippines, I'm going to become a citizen and buy a Filipino radio station. You want a job, Alex? Please. Okay. Please. I mean, is are, how how is the Philippines? You've been there, I trust. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. It's going to change now. I mean, it's got me actually a little bit scared with this guy Durte who's in there. The Duarte. Duarte. Yeah, this guy's like a Donald Trump, Filipino Donald Trump. Oh, Just he's, don't the, he's the one that was giving Obama a bad yeah. time, calling his mother a son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like a bitch. Yeah. I like how you yeah. Say this that. is what the world is coming to. We can't hire a elected, or we can't elect officials who have any kind of uh, grace and decorum. 
Yeah. Yeah, but he's cleaning it up. You know? Yeah, you know, but how about citizens? How about the uh, uh, you know citizens uh, civil uh, civil rights? Civil rights. Well, Thank you. You know, I, we may not like dr- you know we may not like the hard drugs, and we may find that hard drugs in a community is very detrimental to that community, and that sometimes people die from the use of these drugs because of the stuff that they are adulterated with. But still, you don't say anybody we catch using drugs, we're going to shoot. And then and, and have the president say, if you see somebody, you have my blessing to shoot him. Uh, it works in Singapore. Oh <laughs> no, it doesn't work in Singapore. No, it doesn't work like that. It sits Singapore. on the sidewalk in Singapore. Yeah, but you, nobody's no, going to shoot you. No, nobody gets executed. You get caned. You get caned. You, get caned. you can never can get things straight, can you, Phil? What? <laughs> you get caned. You no, can no. get caned, yes. Yeah. But anyway, um, now in China, that is what Mao did. See, the problem what I see with this guy, Dorte, is that he wants to clean up drugs. But he's in my mind, he's going about it all wrong because it's all it's the same thing as as uh, as as anybody else who is trying to feed their family or or get money because there's no jobs in the Philippines. There's no money in the Philippines. So if you kill people, there's somebody in line waiting to take that person's job. The idea is you need to go and start putting, doing something to either educate people or do something to give people hope and jobs also, so they don't have to go sell deal drugs. deal with drugs as a medical problem and not a criminal problem. Well, well that plus the is, fact there's no the correct- jobs in the Philippines. The biggest export in the Philippines is its people. I thought you were going to say it was those terrible shirts they wear. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the, <laughs> but no, they 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 they. Uh, <laughs> that's funny because I was thinking the well, same also, thing. Also, I saw Duarte on uh, on television the other day when he was calling uh, 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 Obama, Obama. A, a son of a bitch, and um, uh, he was wearing a members only jacket. And I just think that if you're the head of the country, you should come up with a better. I mean, that Ahmadinejad wore members only jackets, you know? Yes, Didn't he wear a members only jacket? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Patrick. Do you think Fidel Castro was a better dresser? Well, he was always wearing track uniform. Track suits? Huh? When he'd wear track suits? Oh, well, he's in the hospital. He's sick. He he's wasn't... been wearing those even when he was in power. I don't think so. I think whenever he was seen in public, he was always wearing his military guard. The fatigues. The fatigues, yeah. Well, still, I mean, if you're if you're in power, I mean, at least uh, FDR. Uh, uh, by the way, you got to hand it to Castro. I think he holds the record for being in the hospital for the longest amount of time without being dead. Unless he is dead. <laughs> yeah. I think he's covering it up. My weekend with Bernie. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he no, he's still alive. I know, I couldn't believe it. I Googled him. Yeah. So, you know. He's but, never but, uh, um, did you did you see about Greta Van Susteren, what she's said today? About no, but what she's still in the Well, to begin she, with, following Geraldo Rivera's high-profile Facebook post expressing oh, like regret over his previous stance defending Roger Ailes, um, Greta Van Susteren offered similar thoughts. Now, here's the interesting thing about Geraldo. What a fucking whore this guy is. <laughs> he, he defends... Uh, Roger Ailes, when he's kind of still his boss, right, by saying, no, he's wonderful, he's terrific, you know, he didn't do any, he, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then when he was finally ousted, he's found that a book he was writing, uh, the book deal fell through because of his defense of Ailes. He says, I was wrong and I'm paying the price. So now he hates Ailes so he can get a book deal. You know, that's what a whore Geraldo is. Um, Horaldo. That's what I should have been calling him all these years. Horaldo. <laughs> you called him Jer. Yes, Jer- uh, Patrick. Yeah, but there's, a, there, there's one thing that he has over you and I specifically. What's that? He's making money. Yeah, that's right. And good hair. He has yeah. <laughs> yeah, for a half Jewish guy, it's amazing he still has that good hair. You know. Anyway, uh, Van Susteren took to Facebook saying, we all regret initially failing to believe Gretchen Carlson's claims of sexual harassment by Ailes. We re- all regret it. I made my regret self-evident in my Greta Wire posting three weeks ago, which ended with this. Gretchen, you go, girl. That said it all. Uh, she added, 
it's indeed true that when I read the complaint written by lawyers, I never spoke to Gretchen as long uh, as, as she was long gone from Fox. I found it inconsistent with what was my experience and information of Fox News Channel. Let's remember that Greta Van Susteren could stop a truck with her face. Okay, so I sincerely doubt Ailes was going to like Gooser in the elevator. All right, Fox for a long time, uh, Van Susteren. Yeah. Yeah, 14 years. Uh, she and, might have looked good and, in her and, youth. No, never. No, yeah. No, never. And she had face work done when That's she went right. to Fox. Yes, Paul. Alex, I think she came on during the OJ um, could be. era. Could be. Could, well, could very well be. It was yeah, about, I think it, so. they say, maybe 15, 20 years ago. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it, was the, it was definitely the mid-90s. Yeah, but she said, I, uh, uh, but anyway, she says, this included his seniors, the CFO of both the Fox News Channel and 21 century, 21st Century Fox, uh, and his predecessor, News Corp. The board of directors and what I assume is a public corporation had outside auditors. Checks written that were suspicious should have been spotted. I don't know what that's all about. But she's basically saying that uh, uh, she was... Uh, she says, admittedly, they were working 200 miles from the scene of the crime. So I don't know where she was doing her show from. She she worked out of D.C. She worked out of D.C. And now Britt Hume, who took over her show, yeah. he worked out of Florida. And he's only doing it through the election because he doesn't want to be doing a regular show. Right. So uh, that's what I read is she was based out of D.C. And so obviously that is a ways away from New York. Well, you know, she said she was nowhere near New York, and so therefore she wasn't in the middle of this storm going on with all these women being assailed by Ailes. Now, it's interesting that Ailes has not really heavily denied any of these charges. He got his $40 million. Well, he got his $40 million, but he probably could have gotten a lot more if he had stayed there a few more years. Okay? I don't think they would have let him. But uh, the, the, prosecuted and you know put him in the middle of things and sullied his name even more. Well, I mean, it it uh, it, it it is amazing to me, and I really have to take my hat off. Wait a minute, now there's glare. Um, uh, take my hat off to Greta uh, to Gretchen Carlson because she singly ha- single handedly took down the most powerful media mogul in America. Yeah, I mean, there was nobody that had more clout. Would you agree with that, Paul? You're a broadcaster. Oh, yes. And, and, and this one tapes. woman, and not only took him down completely, but also got a settlement within two months of filing the action. You said she had tapes. Uh, Supposedly but... she had tapes, yeah. And so do a lot of other women who they're now negotiating with. Wow. I think a woman, Tantaros or whatever, has tapes as well. Yeah. Um, what I would give for tapes. Yeah. You know, but I mean, uh, 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 these women had the presence of mind to record these instances. Uh-huh. And uh, some of them felt that, you know, uh, it was just, I mean, can you imagine you're a, a fairly attractive woman? You're a uh, Gretchen Carlson who's attractive. Or you're uh, your girlfriend, Patrick. Uh, Oh, Megan Kelly? Megan Kelly, you know, you're, you're She's attractive. incredibly attractive, okay? I'll say that in deference to Patrick. Um, and all of a sudden, you've got this fat sloth of a human being <laughs> drooling all over you, you know? And who knows if he even had sex with some of them. But, you know, he still, I mean, it, it, that has to be just absolutely... Um, well, how how is your Alex? How is your casting couch at the palatial studios of Gabnet? Oh, you know? uh, uh, well, uh, it's more like a cot. Is what it is. <laughs> yes, cot. Yeah, and uh, uh, do you think he promised them something? I wonder what he said in the you know show. He promised them a show. Well, Gabnet. <laughs> no, I mean, look. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. Uh, you are a uh, woman. You're working at Fox. Uh, you are working your way up and here this uh, sloth of a human being as i said comes on to you with his big fat belly pushing up against your rear end well i'm just trying to paint the most horrible picture i can 
Uh, and he's, by the way, using his cane at this point. Let me add that one in there just to, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, if you say no, you may not get ahead at that company. You know, what are you going to do? What are your options? you got to give head to get head, to get ahead. A ahead, yeah. So, I mean, what are you going to do? You know, and that's why it is especially horrible. I think what Ailes did to these women, if, if the allegations all turn out to be true, I will give him that benefit as I will anybody. Uh, but if they turn out to be true, is even more offensive to me than Bill Cosby. Because, you know, Bill Cosby may have uh, feed a few women, but uh, some At least of them... they were asleep and they couldn't tell. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, Alex, in... what, what you call, when I was watching it on GabNet on, on live stream, yeah. not reap. I think you said that. Not what? Not rape? Yeah. It was a classified as rape. When you were talking about rape that day. Was I, was I talking about Cosby? Yeah, you mentioned Cosby and the Quaaludes. Or, well, that well, may not be rape. Well, it, it, I, you know, I, it, it, you, you have to broaden the definition of rape. I mean, rape usually is thought of as a forcible act. But when somebody. I think he was saying that you had said that it was possibly consensual at one point. But couldn't you say that? Go ahead, finish. Uh, well, I mean, I'm saying that a lot of these cases with Bill Cosby, it was women going, hey, it's Bill Cosby. Hey, I want to, you know, in the, in the early hey. days, especially, Bill Cosby's a pretty good looking guy. Yeah. And, and oh, hey, I'll have sex with Bill Cosby. Oh, what? You want me to take a quaalude? Sure. I'd love to do quaaludes. And then many years later, you're complaining that he fed you a quaalude. Now, I think there were a lot of cases like that. I think there were also a lot of cases where he drugged women without them knowing it. And while they were passed out, you know, would you would you so, would you classify rape you, you classify rape as a um as an act of um I, I think I, of it as a violent act. Violent. But so if if somebody is asleep, it doesn't take much violence to rape them, right? But yes, it's but still you're still, you're still an having act. sex without their consent. Yeah. Right, but it's it's still you have to do something. And you I, don't have case, to work I as have, hard. I have uh, I have uh, had women uh, pass out on me, but it's only because they took so many drugs they didn't have to see me, <laughs> you know. So it was uh, it was their own doing. Um, but I, I, you know, I mean, all I'm saying is, well, of course, what Bill Cosby did was terrible. But I think in a lot of those cases, a lot of women were smitten by the fact that it was Bill Cosby, and hey, Bill had some drugs, and we, you know, and uh, back in the day, we all did quaaludes, you know. Uh, I women would come to me and say, I'd say, I have some quaaludes, and they'd say, oh, can I have one? Can we we'll do that and fuck, you know? And, you know, do am I going to have that come back to me 20 years later that I drugged her? You know, so this, some of those things about, I, I think Cosby did use drugs to seduce women when he really didn't have to in those early days, right? Yeah, but, and he supposedly yeah, hasn't but he done wanted it. to. He hasn't you know? done it in about 15 to 20 years. Yeah. But but the point I'm making is is that that uh, uh, it it still it, even if we dismiss two thirds of those women, what's left is enough to be just disgusting. Wasn't you there know? one that brought a case because she was within the statute of limitations? There was only one within the statute of limitations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's going think, to trial. And, and I think is it going to trial? Yeah, I, I, but I read it. He's. He's uh, he's going to be appearing in court. Now, speaking of blind, he's supposedly blind. That's, That's why when he was walking into court, somebody was holding onto his arm. Uh, uh, you know, he's. I, you know, sympathy. Well, that too. Well, I, I think you want. You know, something. There was something very interesting. They opened up the Museum of Black History at the Smithsonian, and it came to a point, you know, there's uh, Martin Luther King there, and you got. Uh, you know, uh, slave ships. They have a part of a slave ship in there. And it's it, it's a pretty extensive exhibit. And then it came to show business, and they put Bill Cosby there because. And the the guy who did it said this was a very difficult call for us because Bill Cosby did more than almost anyone to put a black presence on television. And then later on became extremely popular with a program that extolled family values and so on. 
and was a pioneer in broadcasting and a beautiful example to black performers everywhere. He said, but on the other hand, and so we, what it wrote was, um, at the very bottom it says, uh, current controversies surrounding his private life should not diminish the fact that he was a contributor, you know. And, and I kind of agree with that, you know. I hate it when we revise history completely because somebody suddenly does something terrible and we want to, you know, we want to rewrite that history. But, I mean, Bill Cosby, as a black performer, really broke barriers. You know, and he was he was a, he was a black presence on on all white television. Yeah, he tried to buy NBC. Remember? Yep, yep. yep. But go back to I Spy. You yep. know, that, that was very early, Patrick. Well, and I mean, and me being Caucasian and growing up in a Caucasian family, one of the shows that we always watched as a family was the Cosby Show. Mm -hmm. And I mean that. That just shows you where that show was and what he did. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, white America was watching it just as much as anyone else. So do we throw the baby out with the bathwater because of his bad deeds now? Do we completely write him out of television history? No, because history is history. Right. Yeah. Has, well, no, but you can, no, history, history is what you in the history books, <laughs> you know. Oh. You, you know. Yes. Let's say, I'll take your example, Alex. Let's say... Cosby comes forward and says, listen, I have a problem. I did this. If he throws himself, like you said, you know, would people feel sorry for him? Or, I'm admitting I have a problem. I couldn't control myself. I have a I problem. Don't you know. I don't think you're going to hear him saying that. As long go as to jail. Legal actions against him. And he, but, you know, do you think people would forgive him then if, they, if he admitted to something like that? Listen, I, you know, I, I once had a discussion with Larry King at lunch. Because that's what you said. Does that right? impress you? I had lunch with Larry King. I like that. Uh, it was after a show he did with me, and we went. We had some breakfast together, and uh, the OJ uh, thing had just finished up, you know, and it was all over with, and so on. And he said, "You know, America is a very forgiving country, and if OJ Simpson came out tomorrow and said, okay, the trial's over, I got off, and everything, I did it, and I'm sorry,' he said he'd have a series next year." Probably, but <laughs> you know. if Cosby did it right now, he'd have to serve his time first. There and if he, well, if also, he, yeah, yeah. so he's not going to do that. Right. And, and, you know, I mean, I don't believe that every one of those women have a case, uh, you know, uh, but I do think that there are enough there. Listen, if it was only one out of the 35, it was wrong. But when I say that Ailes is worse than Cosby, I think when you have that kind of power over somebody's income and they have less of a ability to say no, okay, uh, because they're afraid that they're going to be impacted financially. Now, you know, in the case of, uh, what's her name, your girlfriend again, I keep forgetting her name. Megan Kelly. And Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly became a big enough star there that she could tell Roger Ailes to take a short walk off a long pier, you know. Uh, but there were other women there, like the Gretchen Carlson's, who were barely holding on to their jobs. They got and decent those. numbers, but they knew they could probably put in a, on Fox a performing donkey who would do just as well. And so it was it, it, it was a difficult thing for Gretchen Carlson to find you know to to say no. And then when finally they fired her, she went, "I put up with all that shit. Now I still don't have a job. Fuck you, Ailes." You know, and she came out and told what was happening. Um, Ailes' big problem was, and the problem with a lot of people like Ailes is, they don't have the brains, and I'm saying this, the brains to know that they shouldn't be doing this sort of thing and not giving something back. They should have went Either to hook Being them. nice, sending flowers the next day, or if somebody was offended by your pass at them, uh, apologizing, you know that that would have gone a long way to solving a lot of these problems. But apparently he was getting off by, you know, whatever. I mean, I can't say because it's never gone to court and it's probably never going to go to court. Right. He's just paying everybody off. Like oh, Fox said. wants to settle all these things because they know that all court's going to do is cost them money. 
they want to put it behind them. Yeah. yeah. And 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 they wanted uh, uh, they wanted uh, uh, ales out of there really fast because they they wanted to show that they were making amends for what went on, and they even issued an apology, you know. So uh, we'll we'll have to see how this plays itself out. But I thought it was interesting that Greta and Susteren, and apparently she left for uh, with about s something with this whole. Ailes thing just didn't sit right with her because she walked on her own. Yes, Paul. She had a clause, a key, key man, man clause in a contract that if a key man, let me do sum it up, wasn't there, she that could walk out, and that was it. I think a lot of the talent there has that clause. I've read. Yeah. And supposedly, but where are uh, they going to go? Well, they're going to go to the Trump network. Trump network, because <laughs> that's what Trump's going to do when he loses. Yeah. Now, Paul, are you going to carry the Trump network on uh, your stations? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> hey, you know, I think that this uh, Bill Cosby thing—he he isn't known for one of his greatest shows, which was Man from Uncle. And uh, he, well, he wasn't on Man from Uncle. I'm sure, he was. No, he wasn't. Oh. Yeah, Robert Culp, Bill Cosby. No, no. I Spy. The I Spy. Oh, I Spy. I Spy, uh, yeah. Was he on Man from Uncle? Oh, no. how much you want to bet, Phil? Don't look it up right now. How much money you want to bet? Uh, I'm betting a right, hundred gab net no, bucks. No, I'm betting a thousand dollars. Yeah, he's not. It was I Spy and not the Man from Uncle. I Spy and the Man from Uncle. The black guy and the Man from Oh, no, it was, it was the guy with the white hair. It was the white hair and Robert Culp. He was on Grace Martin no, here. No, wasn't he? no, it was Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn. And, right. and uh, what's the British actor? Uh, Ilya. Uh, Ilya, yeah. Ilya, yeah. Who was that? Right. Yeah, yeah. That looks. That show was so. Okay. Uh, hey, so okay, wasn't on Man from Uncle. That show was so white it looked like it was washed with Bonami. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Yeah, uh, talking about white. Yeah, cheers. Uh, that that maybe was the worst one yet. Oh, I cheers. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> he was toasting. No. Cos oh. Cosby. Um, was I Spy. Okay. He did I Spy. And then I think he did another short lived show about being a basketball teacher. Oh, no. You're thinking of White Shadow, I think. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. That, 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 no. I'm it's thinking about another show that he did where he was a gym teacher. Oh, really? Uh, and, uh, seemed to remember that, too. Yeah, it, it didn't last a long time. And then he came back. I think that was on NBC as well. And then he came back with the eventually with the Cosby Show, which became a sensation. I mean, it, yeah, it, was a good uh, show. it ruled the roost for many, many years. And as you say, I think I remember that story, that at one point he was making so much money, he wanted to buy NBC. Yeah. Because, it, they, it, that's... You know, because they had changed the name of NBC, to NBC, nothing but Cros Cosby. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I mean, uh, uh, he started Must See TV, I think, the Thursday night lineup. Yeah, yeah, that's what it started. Yeah, he, he, uh, you know, he, and I, I have to admit, I have to say this that in all the years that Cosby did a show on NBC, I have not seen a single episode. I, I yeah. can't say I have either. <laughs> I've seen a few. I've seen you know, yeah. I mean, what I have seen are clips that they clips. use, you know. Yeah, and I was I, already I, too and old and for I, and watching. I know who Lisa Cosby. Bonet is because she used to give me a Bonet. Yeah. Uh, uh, she's on, uh, on what do you call them, that show now on Showtime. Uh, it's, uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, I think she married Lenny Kravitz at one time. Yeah, she was married to Lenny she, Kravitz. I don't know if they're married anymore. Yeah. Um, I think she's part Jewish too. I think she she's half black. Half uh, she's black. small. Yeah, she's light skin. I think. Yeah. She's yeah. I, don't know. I think that's where she and Kravitz had a commonality or something. Oh, it, wasn't his mother on the Jeffersons? Lenny Kravitz. Uh, Roxy Roker or no? He was on the Jeffersons. Roxy Roker. No, no, his mother was on the Jeffersons. I think she died of cancer. I think. No. I don't think so. I'm, I'm trying to remember his. I, I heard something about his lineage, and I can't remember what the story was. On the, I was saying like, it she was. has always been a very, very pretty. I don't. Uh, I thought it was Even Lorenzo now, Music. Um, what's that show? It has the guy's name on Showtime. The two, she, the two, it's Donovan. 
Uh, oh, Ray Donovan. Ray you Donovan. like that? Yeah, Liam did. Nielsen. Liv Schreiber. She I'm died not, last week on Ray Donovan. Liv Schreiber, yeah. He dumped her body off a, into a dam or something. He's a boxer. Right? Yeah, but she, uh, she's still, you know, she's older. But, man, she still looks heck of good. She yeah. was the one that played the junkie, the sister junkie. Was yeah. that her? Yeah. That was Lisa Bonet. Yeah. Yeah, she was on Ice Spy too, Phil. Yeah. Uh, man from Uncle. Man from Uncle. Yeah. Boy. That was a Boy, cow. that's a good one, Phil. You know, that's worthy of being a Trump supporter, what you did tonight with uh, that. Hey, you know, I'm going to, on the 16th, I'm going to see, see Steve Forbes. Oh, uh, and give a presentation. Oh, that retard? Well, it's, uh, he's going to talk about the economy. Yeah. yeah. Like he's been right all We should give him questions to ask. He just reports the economy. He doesn't yeah. know anything about it. Uh, Paul, he ran for president. You're a, citizen, you're a citizen, okay? So you get to vote, right? Paul. Uh, Paul? Oh, Paul. Oh, oh, don't give me yes. Yeah, you're the only Paul here. Uh, 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 you, you're, you're a citizen, so you can vote, right? Yeah, we're doing it by mail. Yeah, well. All three of us in this house. Yeah. Who are you voting for? Democrat all the way. Okay. You, 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 in other words, you're not worried about Hillary on any level. So she doesn't give you pause. No, I mean, I, I did like Bernie. I did vote for Bernie. Yeah. But he didn't make it. And Trump, uh, excuse me, guys, is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so the other two people cannot win. Right. Robert, I would never do li libertarians. I don't like that. I don't like libertarians. I mean, no. I like Gary Johnson. I, as I say, I've interviewed him. I liked him. He's a, he's a decent guy. But that doesn't mean I agree, you know, that his politics satisfy me. But here's, here's what I've said, and I've been saying this over and over again. The bad news, the good news is no way Trump's winning this election. The bad news is Hillary's going to be president. Mm. So, you know, I mean, really, we're, we're not, a, not a good choice. Have you felt that way, Rob, that you're going to vote for Hillary, but it's yeah. not a good choice? Yeah, they get worse every election. Every election, we're appalled by who the choices are. Well, Obama you could vote for because you felt a certain... I felt more of a sense of history with Obama than I do with, with Hillary. In 2008, yeah, agreed. I felt more a sense of history about a black person being elected president than a woman. Yeah. You know. Uh, because a good reason to vote for somebody what, 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 because of their sex or their race. Paul, I can't think of one to vote for Trump though. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. What? There was a His hair Caribbean calypso about elections by a guy called Black Stalin. You see, every four years the politicians come out saying better days are coming, and he say, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. That's a politician. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be better. Better for whom? Hey, before we go, I, I, I'm not a Facebook guy, and so I don't see social media. Have you guys seen the, the commercials for the Twin Tower sales online? No. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. What, the, the, there's a mattress company. That put a that I saw it on CNN.com. They ran uh, this this woman standing in the middle of these two guys, and they got these beds that are stacked up like two twin towers, and and they're selling all their mattresses for the size of twin mattresses on this twin towers sale weekend. Oh, Isn't that pretty good idea? Uh, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, how can I do that with carpet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. Imagine you had to 9 11 cell phone. Yes, uh, Patrick. What, what oh, made sad is the two guys. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We couldn't hear you because there was a truck going by Tony's house. I thought they were going to get along soon. Uh, the two guys behind the woman fall so that the towers of the mattresses fall. Yeah. yeah. She said, we never forget. Yeah. It was the most horrible. Where is it? Where is this? Is it online? Oh yeah, it's on CNN.com. It's, it's for who? What mattress? Uh, the company Miracle is mattress or mattress miracle is the name of it. Mattress miracle. Wow, it's a mattress miracle. Anyway, 
Uh, hey, thanks, Paul. Gee, good seeing you. Hope you can do this again. Yeah, see you too, guys. Uh, okay. And Patrick, thank you. Anthony, thank you. Phil, thank you. Rob, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. And that's it for our citizens panel. And let me just, uh, for you watching the TV, let me just uh, sign out the uh, um, of uh, Skype because the next show after us is the intersection, and they're going to be needing it. And in the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett, as always. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Okay, we've stopped the broadcast, at least the, the uh, audio portion of the broadcast. I'm Alex Bennett. I want to thank you for being part of this program tonight by watching it, and uh, we'll do it again next week. Have a good night, everybody.